I have lost count how many times people have requested to test frozen ropes. I'm all bundled up, ready to get our samples, which we have done all sorts of. We are going to test a dynamic rope and a static rope in this episode of How Not To. Larry had to empty out his entire freezer for us to do this test. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's just ropes now. We are going to, but one bottle at a time, fill these up until they're as high as they need to be to at least cover the rope. Hoping the slow-mo is gonna make the ice go everywhere. Now our first rope we tested was a Beale Spillinium 10.0 millimeter semi-static rope that was non-dry. It had no special coating on it. The ice just covers the middle of the rope and the ice would break off as we stretched the rope out, but it still provided us with some good slow-mos. What are we gonna do with all this ice? I'm going to irrigate the vineyard. <laughs> the specs for the nerds are that the core and the sheath are polyamid and the sheath is 41% and the core is 59% of the rope and this supposedly has a 25 kilonewton MBS. Check out this slow-mo. You can see the test bed moving and the ice is just floating there. Ropes always break in the knots. That is my experience. Ropes break in knots and we knew that. So we froze the knots to see what would that do. And of course the ice falls off, but oh man, the slow-mo was good. Oh my God, that is a mess. Does freezing your rope make it stronger? <laughs> the frozen side's still intact. Huh, maybe it does. It reinforces the fibers. Dude, what a mess. It's snowing in California. <laughs> That's not steam. Uh, no, it, it could be. Um, it gets hot in the knot. To have something to compare to, we're gonna take this rope that's not frozen as a control sample and break this dry, non-dry rope. Even though the ropes have an MBS of 25 kilonewtons, we will never get full strength with knots like these with figure eights. See, our MBS is a myth video about that. What is crazy is we didn't get more strength from our control sample. What I've learned about science is you keep repeating the experiment till you get the results you want, and then you only show that test. Uh, <laughs> I have tested this rope multiple times for other projects, and I've gotten 18 on those. That's just the variable of knots and ropes. Or frozen ropes are stronger. Shall we test the dynamic rope now? The dynamic rope we tested was a Sterling 9.8 Velocity Dynamic rope with a dry treatment. It has a 35% sheath and is rated for six UIAA falls. The specs say 28.8% elongation, which is what you want when taking a whipper, but that is the force you put on it when climbing, not to break it. So it ends up stretching more than double to break those samples. Wet ropes, and of course frozen ropes, are going to lose a ton of their elongation properties, which is why you only want to climb when it's sunny and 70. You know, it may surprise you to learn that it broke in the knot. No way. This video is really boring. But as you can see, the freezing the middle of the rope, or even freezing the knots, didn't really have an effect on it. Check out this slow-mo. In nine frames, the rope completely recoiled. That is 0 0.009 seconds. Oops. Never had it break one side, the core, and the other side, the, the sheet. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, this is a very interesting result. Yeah. Our two dry control samples turned out noticeably lower than the frozen ropes. So this is an interesting result when it scrunchies. The sheath gets all basically bunched up and it's super rigid. No way! What the hell? 
All right. Dude. I'm going to start freezing my ropes. So, of course, there are lots of other reasons that you would be very sad if you ended up on a frozen rope. Ascenders um, may not work. They would just slide. I've had this happen. And if the rope is super stiff, you're going to have a really hard time getting it in your belay device. Another issue with frozen ropes or even wet ropes is they don't have the dynamic properties in them. Not quite sure why you're lead climbing with a rope that's frozen solid, but if you were to fall on a rope like that, it's not going to stretch, which means it's gonna hurt you and put more force on the anchor. Put in the comments below if you wanna see a liquid nitrogen test, because I don't see the point of that, but for some weird reason, if you wanna see it, we'll do it.